Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Playongo, and I have a plastic addiction. Oh hey, there's a new Underworlds box coming out. Kill Team Shadow Vaults? Maybe I'd better pre-order that. Nuns with guns. Nuns with guns. Nuns with guns. In space. Okay, better not go too crazy. I got everything in my cart. Now to check out. So, all joking aside, um, I did buy a lot of miniatures in the past what's it been three or four weeks um, so I just want to share that with you guys and I'd also like to show you the minis that I've been painting because I actually have been painting quite a bit for starters I have these two warbands here uh, this is Grashax Despoilers I believe and then we also have the Godsworn Hunt now the Godsworn Hunt I was able to trade uh, with my buddy for for those miniatures that were in uh, Warhammer Underworld's Nether Maze. So that was pretty cool. Next up, I went ahead and ordered uh, this off of eBay. This is um, the Hedonites of Slanesh uh, Warband for Underworld's. It is the Dread Pageant. Um, Slanesh has been uh, a chaos faction that I've been passingly interested in. Uh, actually, the first Age of Sigmar thing that I got was a set of, of demonettes for... Um, it was like a start collecting, basically, for uh, Slanesh. And, you know, I ended up getting rid of that um, just because I realized I wasn't going to paint it up. But I still am just interested in where they've gone with this um, whole faction. Uh, it seems like they've had some new models in the past several years, and uh, they seem pretty cool. Next up, I did get some Novitiates. Uh, these are basically space nuns in training okay i found something about the lore that i felt like i could latch on to and then of course i started doing research into like hey what kill teams are there and what you know what sort of uh adeptus rortus kill team could i make and all i remember is that i wanted to get some of this faction right so anyway i figured i'd give this a shot it seems like a pretty cool kill team and uh yeah maybe i'll start collecting a little bit of uh, adeptus rortus going forward Speaking of which, um, I also found a friendly local game store. Uh, of course, for me, local means like within an hour drive, basically, right? So there's one place north of me, but there's another place south of me. And I found them via eBay when I was looking at buying something, and I saw how many miles away it was, and I'm like, that's really close. Do they have a store? And they do. So um, I also picked up this uh, Adeptus Roritas uh, Retributor Squad. Now, after having picked this up, um, it's not really remorse that I'm feeling, but it's just a little bit of worry. I looked up all the models that you could bring into Kill Team for uh, Sisters of Battle, and it seemed like you could have heavy weapons units in the game, right? But I couldn't tell that you could get, like, multi-meltas and, like, sort of bolters and flamers from the Battle Sisters set right so i my thinking was that you have to get them from the ret retributor set um i realized that i didn't maybe research that as fully as i probably should have before i just went ahead and bought something right <laughs> so i may not need this i don't know for sure next up my buddy actually um gifted this to me more or less i actually paid him a few cu couple bucks for it but um this is blitzball now as far as i know this is like the board game version of um blood bowl right um really my buddy and I are separated by distance, right? Uh, especially with a pandemic still going on, but even without that, like, he's a, he's over three hours away, right? Um, and so what we've been doing, especially during the winter when it's a little more difficult to travel, is just play games online, like, basically over Zoom. Um, so if we both have a copy of a game, especially something like this with a gridded layout, we can basically use tokens to represent each other's minis and we can actually play a game uh, remotely which is really cool so that is definitely the um thinking behind this and so there's six skaven in here which is pretty cool hopefully i can try that out with my buddy here over the next six months and uh we'll 
get some enjoyment out of that. So, uh, on my continuing quest to collect Underworld's Warbands, um, Narwood. This is the, the new, new <laughs> uh, set of uh, Warhammer Underworlds that came out. Now, the last set, uh, which I believe I still have right here, Nether Maze, um, you know, I really just bought it because I don't have any of the rule sets for uh, Warhammer Underworlds. So I figured, well, you know what, I'll have the game so I can play that if I want, but really I want those, those models, and I don't know if the ones that are in these sets are going to be available, right? So after Narrowwood came out, they did release a set of the models that came in the under the the nether maze box and those ones um that like they're a little bit cheaper i forget what the like sort of retail price is like 10 bucks cheaper or something than just buying like the set so i was like well um you know i could i could wait on this but um i kind of just wanted this now right <laughs> i'm like i just want it so i bought it yolo a lot of this is yolo uh, i'm not made of money i am selling some things on ebay I'm trading plastic for plastic, so I'm selling some of my like anime and sort of gaming figurines. But finally, the the big one here, um, Kill Team Shadow Vaults. Now there was another. This box is enormous. There was another um, Kill Team set that was released just before this. Uh, which I think was Into the Dark, and Into the Dark seemed pretty cool, like the terrain seemed cool, but um, I don't care about Kroot, and additionally, um, what was it, the like Imperial Navy or something like that? That's actually like a cool thing, like sort of Warhammer miniature-wise, but I don't, I don't care, right? <laughs> I just don't care about that. Um, this is a little different. Um, this is uh, Necrons, and it's not Necrons that you can't it's some Necrons that you can't get, right? It's essentially a set that I already have. The Immortals, which you can build as either Immortals or uh, Deathmark. And what's cool about this, though, is it has a sprue that's like an upgrade sprue for uh, the Deathmark in particular. It's got, like, different heads for them. Um, I kind of forget if there's anything different. There might be, like, it's some different stuff for the Immortals also. Plus, it's got a couple of new... Um, Necron models, and it actually has um, the tech, tech, one of the Technomancers that I don't have that I've been wanting to get. So between that and this really cool terrain, if you can see, it's um, Space Hulk terrain, right? So Space Hulks are these huge um, kind of collections of ships that have gotten lost in the warp, and of course, it is of course the setting of the game Space Hulk. So it's really cool to see Kill Team and to an extent 40k, um, you know, setting some battles inside of Space Hulks that aren't actually part of the Space Hulk board game. So I kind of wanted to have some of that terrain, and I think Shadow Vaults is the right set. Um, Into the Dark wasn't the right set for me, but um, but yeah, you know, the other stuff is just like me collecting, me being excited, and. Um, you know, that's okay, right? Let's take a look at the stuff I've been painting. So if you guys have been watching my channel at all over the past several months, um, you have seen these skeletons. This is the Sepulchral Guard. I think this uh, team is really cool. I'm considering making one more video about them, which is to kind of talk about like what you can learn from the box art and like, you know, how that could influence, um, you know, your minis and, and actually make them better, just like make your painting better, right? Additionally, I've painted um, several of these, I guess six, um, old Chaos Warriors. So these were actually gifted to me by my buddy, and uh, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I batch painted like three of these after I sort of knew what I wanted to do with them. I have a really cool Slaves to Darkness warband from Warhammer Underworlds, so I will get to use everything that I learned painting these guys up on them. That's kind of why I painted them up. Uh, I also have this Chaos Lord. This is, uh, again, something that my buddy gifted me. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm pretty pleased with how this dude came out. Uh, I was able to leverage the things that I learned painting those other dudes. And, uh, yeah, I think he's pretty cool. This guy here, he's kind of a, got a Conan the Barbarian thing going on. Um, you know, last night I was putting paint on this guy, and I was really pretty 
dissatisfied with how he was looking. Uh, it's mostly the bone. I was getting really yellow on the bone. Anyway, I worked the bone with kind of traditional opaque acrylics to a color that I was more satisfied with. And um, yeah, I'm learning how to do skin, right? So especially with these Army Painter Speed Paints that I really like, uh, I'm trying out different skin tones on these um, Untamed Beasts for Warcry. So, uh, you know, I'm working on this guy right now. I did kind of the same sort of underpainting um, that I've been doing on some other stuff. I'm trying it out with different types of skin tones. I've already learned some really cool stuff. And, you know, for this really light Caucasian skin tone, um, I actually am pretty pleased with how this guy uh, came out here. I'm definitely going to do some, like, more instructional, in-depth uh, painting videos here coming up. But, uh, you know, I might save that for some of this cooler stuff, so to speak. So, lastly, I'm reaching out to you guys to keep me honest, okay? Um, I went through and counted all of the unpainted models that I have right now, and uh, it's about 393 models, okay? So, um, I need to, I think, instate my rule, which is to only buy models when I've painted at least, let's say, double what I'm buying, right? So um, all the, all this pickups, the stuff that I just picked up, um, was another 67 models. That brings my grand total of models to paint up to 460, which is ridiculous. So uh, I think I, at the very least, want to paint two models for every model I buy. Maybe I need to instate a paint three. For everyone that I buy. Um, I need to hold myself to that, I think, in order to reduce this backlog and not get a pile of shame that is totally unmanageable like some other painters get, right? Because honestly, collecting these things is fun, and once you get started, uh, it's easy to just go nuts. I'm definitely going to be busy this winter. We'll see how things go going forward, but I hope that you're looking forward to more painting videos from me. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed recently. We just hit 100 subscribers, which I think is great. Thanks so much, and uh, like this video if you like it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.